Hey guys, welcome back to Spare the Skip. I'm Sarah Nelson. You may have turned into a giant stress ball with school starting up again, but not to worry. I'm here to ease your mind and talk about the important things in life. The nominees of Album of, Album of the Year at the Grammys. I know I have some strong feelings toward a few of the nominees, so let's jump right in. First up, we have Sound and Color by Alabama Shakes. The American rock band's album debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 on April 21st, 2015. Lead singer Brittany Howard has the most amazing voice that sounds like a modern day Janis Joplin. If you have not listened to it, you definitely should. Up next for album of the year is Kendrick Lamar's To Pimp a Butterfly. This album could have been the most anticipated rap album of 2015. Although the album covers some heavy topics like racism, he really brings the funk and jazz with some piano and trumpets. Of course, we cannot forget his smooth deliverance of poetic justice. On the, up, on the opposite side of the music spectrum for all of you country music lovers, Traveler by Chris Stapleton is the next up on the list. On May 5th, 2015, Stapleton unleashed some old school country mixed with some southern rock. Traveler is, another, is one of those albums where the artist all, lets out all of their emotion into a masterpiece. Speaking of masterpieces, 1989 is our next nominee. Taylor Swift effortlessly delivers in her debut pop album. Nothing but fun beats and that feeling you can just drive around and belt out every song. 1989 is a thing of beauty and everyone should love it. Taylor's, Taylor's album is not the only masterpiece. Our final nominee will have you feeling some type of way. The weekend's beauty behind the madness is hauntingly beautiful. The Michael Jackson influence is very prevalent in not only the sound of the weekend's voice, but the way he makes his music. From the cryptic lyrics to the, all over, to the overall sound of the songs resembling the king of pop. All of the album nominees are fantastic and everyone should listen to them, but my personal favorites are definitely 1989 and Sound and Color. Taylor Swift slayed it. Almost every song makes you want to get up and dance. And the fact that Brittany Howard sounds like Janis Joplin is absolutely amazing. But alas, only one album can take the crown. My prediction is probably 1989. If you disagree, or even if you agree, tune into the Grammys February 15th at 7 to see who takes the crown for Album of the Year. Well, thanks for hanging with me, guys. I'm Sarah Nelson. See you next time.